So you own a Blazer R8 and you want to know a couple things you can do to make sure your gun is running right or you don't mess it up. So here's a PSA, so I don't have to keep answering these questions uh, for the Blazer owners uh, to keep in mind with these guns if you're new to the new to the system. Some of this is stuff I've come up with that is not official from Blazer, but nothing I've ever come up with has ever been disputed by Blazer. Um, and actually a couple things I even... Um, I even, uh, I think I informed Blazer on. So, you know, at least in the English speaking world, I don't know how they are in Germany, so. Okay, number one, the first thing is, you get your bolt head and your case head for your barrel, they have to match, right? I mean, if you're Blazer, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you know, standard barrel, standard bolt head, magnum barrel, magnum bolt head, Lapua barrel, Lapua bolt head. Uh, mini barrel like 223 or seven, you know, one of those things. Uh, mini bolt head. That's obvious, but I can't. Just through observation, um, I would give give the user some advice. Let's say you're playing with your gun and you've got a standard bolt head and a magnum barrel, um, and just because you want to throw a different barrel on there because you want to see how heavy it is or you're doing whatever. And let's say you want to fiddle with it. You want to dry fire the gun. You want to, you know, just mess with it. Do not dry fire these guns if the case head, the barrel case head, and the, uh, the bolt head are not the same size. Um, I think that has the potential to cause uh, some issues with the firing pin. And, um, it's, a, it's just a bad habit to get into, and uh, I would not do that. Uh, the second thing is, if you're a reloader, and um, I don't personally reload. We have uh, people that, that do it for us. Um, yeah, you know, that's how it is. I, I shoot factory ammo. I don't have time for reloading. But we've had this happen with this gun, and so we're passing it on to you. Uh, one of the things that, blo that makes Blazers accurate I believe is that they run a tight chamber. They don't run sloppy chambers. The chambers are cut to what I would say Sammy spec, like right within, like it's right there. It's not like 0.1 over 0.2 or 0.01. It is right on. So when you, sh you know, if you're reloading, if you uh, uh, a piece of brass and you want to put reloads in this gun, it's good to do a complete resize of the uh, loaded ammo, not just a. Uh, not just partly, do a complete resize. And uh, if you don't, what can happen is, because brass can stretch, uh, you could have issues where the, um, it's, uh, your brass is, uh, your, or your reloaded round is a little bit too long for your, for your chamber, and uh, your gun will, has an out of battery uh, safety, and it, the, the firing pin may drop, but it probably won't, won't detonate the round. Uh, it's a safety feature for, for you and everybody else. So um, if you're going to resize, do full length resize on your on your brass. Uh, the let's see here. The other one. This is for everybody. This is a uh, oh, Lapua Lapua bolt head for uh, for uh, R93. It's not R8, but it's the same thing. Um, when you're cleaning these guns, standard clean the barrel, don't over clean them, you know, however you want to do that, nobody cares, that's up to you. Um, clean the bolt heads, you know, uh, clean your chambers, clean up into the, uh, the recesses, the locking lug recesses up in the, uh, up in the barrel, they're up in, uh, they're up around here, make sure you get up and clean those out and keep particulate, particulates out of there, so like, for example, you know, some powder build up or but the biggest thing is you might occasionally see pieces of brass. Um, if you shoot a lot, you'll occasionally see things, you know, brass shavings or, you know, unburnt powder or burnt powder can foul up things. And uh, you need to uh, clean up in that recess. However, the other area, not just, not just your, uh, your breech face, not just your locking lugs, you need to make sure that you clean down into the bolt head and make sure that firing pin channel is clear. Because what can happen is you can uh, have um, you can have uh, particulates 
build up inside of your bolt heads and the the inside of the bolt head it 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 comes down it it uh it's tapered so it feeds the uh, firing pin because the firing pin comes through the bolt head and if you foul that up you can have uh you know dud strikes and or you know other issues so just make it a point to uh you know, get down in there with a brush, take a flashlight, definitely look down in there. I mean, it takes, it's easier to clean this than it is to clean the barrel. Just pull the thing out, look. I mean, if you've had these guns for years and you've never cleaned inside of your bolt head, you're probably fine. Um, but you could shoot it one time and maybe something gets down in there or it builds up over time and it starts to be an issue. If you're going to take the gun apart anyway, and you know, you're going to clean all this, all you have to do is flip it upside down, take a flashlight, look down in there, swab it out. Take a swab out the actual firing pin channel. I personally like to use pipe cleaners. Grandpa smoked pipe. I don't know how many people do this anymore, but pipe cleaners also, just as a habit, just run them in and out real quick. Keep that clean so you don't have any issues with fouling your firing pin. So um, really other than that, um, that's pretty much, you know, you're pretty stupid proof. Um, as far as oiling the guns, I would not oil the um, I would not oil the uh, receiver block. So there's a, a channel underneath the barrel where it mates up with your receiver. Uh, that is technically your receiver is down in here. That little block. Um, do not oil that. Keep that dry. Clean it. Obviously, if you, any issues or, or whatever on there, clean it. But uh, if you have to use a product on it, I would degrease it. I'd keep that keep that totally dry because that is where your whole gun functionally mates up to your receiver and if there's any movement in there that would be that would be uh you know unwise so keep that dry um i personally would keep the rails dry um on your action um you could possibly throw a little bit of a lubricant on there if you think you're having an issue just bear in mind depending on a situation if it's super cold or super dirty you know any kind of lubricant you can to um, you know could possibly either uh, evaporate or it could uh, attract uh, debris and, and cause issues uh, so it's not really gonna hurt you it's not, I don't think it's really necessary too much it, uh, if you are gonna lube these just a little bit I've used a synthetic lube just a little drop on either side maybe if for some reason I feel like it's dragging uh, I personally use slip 2000 you can use whatever you want and um, so Keep the uh, receiver block dry. You can run these dry. This is important. Your collet head on your um, on your bolt heads. This is an R93, but it's the same principle. These these are your locking surfaces on your bolts, and those lock into the uh, lock into the. Um, uh, the barrel, there's a, uh, there's a recess in there that locks into. Keep these dry. No reason to lubricate these. Um, why would you want to make it easier for it to unlock? Um, some people may disagree. Blazer may disagree. I see keep it, keep it clean. Keep it, keep it uh, if you need to, you know, I mean, if it's rusting or you're having an issue, obviously, you know, lube it, take care of it, do what you got to do. But, you know, all things being equal, I would just... Keep it clean and keep it dry. Um, I would not want to lube that surface. I think that's about it. So if you have any questions uh, or something I may have missed, uh, hit me up on the website, john1911.com, and uh, you know uh, I, can, I can amend this or make additions to it or make another video. Uh, that's john1911.com. Remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Everybody, have a good day.